Skyscrapers, the new action movie starring Dwayne Johnson as a man who has to save his family from the world's tallest building while it's on fire and he's being accused of starting the fire. So, <laughs> Nate, it's this. Dwayne Johnson's kind of this like enigma when it comes to you know action movies. I mean, he's easily the biggest action star we have working today. Oh yeah. But his movies are hit or miss, and even though he's inconsistent with his movies, he's always consistent with his performance. So I feel like. He kind of has like this shield for criticism where it's like, even though his movies aren't always the greatest, he's great in his movies. But what about this one? Do you think, you know, he pulled it off again? Yeah, I mean, you can't, yeah, you never can blame the guy for a movie being bad because of him. It's no. always pretty good because The Rock's entertaining and he is endlessly charming. And yeah. once I get into this movie, I mean, I think, yeah, The Rock's good. I, I like watching this guy. And in this one, I had no problem watching him in this movie either. What about you? Yeah, I had no problem watching him in this one, but at the same time, there wasn't anything like standout. And I feel him. like mm -hmm. with this one, he just kind of like played it safe. He he gave it his all. It's a genuine performance, but I don't know. It just it didn't feel like Dwayne Johnson to me. You know, it didn't feel like they yeah. took you know full effect of his, or uh, full advantage of his talents. I think so too, because I mean, with with The Rock, you have to give him the right material, and he really can shine. And with this, I think he, you're right, he played it safe. It was a little too serious, and they, there are moments where you're like, there he is. Yeah. Had, like, yeah, nice quotes, nice one-liners, and yeah, fun. When he's having fun, the audience is having fun. Yeah. But when it's the downtimes, and it's just the conversations between characters, it's pretty dull. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think dull is a perfect word for it. As far as the rest of the performances go, just like you know Dwayne Johnson, it's all serviceable. Right. There isn't like a really bad performance. Huh. But we've had a lot of action movies lately. How do you feel the action and effects in this one stacks up compared to what we've got so far this summer? Oh, so far this summer, I don't think it stacks up to those no. too much. But I, I, I did have fun during the core action scene this, in this movie. I think that there are moments where they take advantage of the vertigo, of the building, of yes. its height. And it was effective, and I was smiling during this, and there was moments of suspense, and even the crane scene that they give a lot away in the trailer still was very entertaining and kind of on the edge of your seat. The problem for me is that there's just not enough of it. You're not in this building long enough. There's a little too much setup, and there's a little too much breakdown of this movie to where like they could have just kept it a little more simple. I just think they just had too much going on. Yeah, I think that... With a movie like this, with this concept, you know, it's an, it's a cool concept. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like Die Hard meets the Towering Inferno, you know. Imagine you're watching Die Hard. It's like, what if the building was on fire, too? Like, that's yeah. a kind Almost of a cool... 300 stories. <laughs> right, like, that's kind of a cool concept. Yeah. But I just like with, uh, you know, Dwayne Johnson's talents, I don't think they took full advantage of this story and what they could have done with it, especially with the intensity of the action. Yeah. But let's just talk about this story. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This Let's. story, these characters, this dialogue, every cliche of every action movie you've seen. Like, yeah. scene for scene. Like, every scene. And you can, know. You're writing it in your head because you know exactly what's going to happen next. It's so weird that studios are like, yeah, give them $150 million. We've seen it before. Dozens and dozens of times. We've seen everything in this everything movie Everything in this movie. Like, yeah, you're talking right down to the dialogue, right down to the every cliche villain. They didn't use just one. They used three. Oh, there was the cliche. untouchable badass who, like, yeah. walking away from these bullets, like, oh, they're never going to hit me, to the point where one doesn't <laughs> hit her because this guy scurries across the screen shooting and, like, makes contact with the bullet that yeah, was intended like, for her. I'm like, into the bullet. I was rolling my eyes through 90, 95% of this movie. I know. There was. Pa there, part of it was, like, fun. I part of it was fun. Part of it was fun because. I felt like they might have been intentionally trying to like yes. make a cliche action movie. Hundred percent. And if they would have leaned into it and made it more satirical and more even more ridiculous yeah. than some of the parts of this movie was, I think they would have had a successful movie. But they try to play it straight. Even when it comes to the foreshadowing, they might as well have been like, This is foreshadowing, by the way. Oh, they should have like, put a title card, like yeah, this will happen. Foreshadowing. Yeah, exactly. It was very, very cliche riddled. But I don't know. I think they meant to do that. There are moments where they had to Honestly, have. there's a moment where the kid says, Dad's in the bathroom doing the talking to himself thing. And so through the movie, when he's trying to go through these tasks, he's talking to himself. Like it excuses the, it. Yeah, like it excuses it. So the movie already told you he talks to himself, so you have to believe it. Like you already found out. It's just really 
like, I, know, I, was, I was eye rolling, but I was laughing and rolling my eyes. Not like, oh, brother, get me out of the theater. I was like, what? Really? I, yeah, I, I, I'll admit, there were some <laughs> belly laughs with my eye rolls where there's this Nev Campbell's character, Dwayne Johnson's wife. Her arc in this movie is, <laughs> I learned how to reboot my phone. They set it up in the beginning. Oh, I don't know how this phone works. And then through the actions of the movies and just, I just got to say, I'm so glad Nev Campbell finally got this opportunity to sink her teeth into I know. a meaty role you know, with a vivid character. We haven't learns. seen her in a long time, and now she's just back at her top. Oh, forget Tony Collette. <laughs> Nev Campbell for the Oscar, folks. But you have to hand her, the acting's not bad. Like, the cast, she's still trying. No, they're all trying. Very sincere performances, top to bottom, even from the cheesy cliched villains yeah. right down to the like mm, i'm the evil british guy who's <laughs> right. gonna betray you yeah turns around guess <laughs> what i'm evil like <laughs> down to the point where it's the final confrontation with the bad guy yeah. and he approaches the bad guy and the bad guy's got his back turned and he does that slow turn it's like he's gonna have a hostage oh hey <laughs> right. he's got a hostage just like the, i know and it's there are you're right though there are ideas here and these are valid ideas even the end set piece is pretty cool yeah. like i was like this is a good idea this is exciting if they just would have played it a little bit more fun instead of taking it so seriously the whole time and uh, i don't know it's one of those movies where it's i'm rolling my eyes but i'm kind of having a good time there was time i was probably having a good time 30 percent of the time 70 percent of the time i was like okay Moving along. When I was having a good time with this movie, it was for all the wrong reasons. I was <laughs> laughing at this movie. It's not it's not offensively bad. Yeah. There's solid action. There's decent performances. It's offensively cliche. It, this movie had potential. Yeah. It had a good premise. Good and like we said, if they would have leaned into how ridiculous and how cliched it was, if it would have been a little bit more self-aware, satirical, I, I think they could have had a great movie, especially with the cast, the team behind it. Yeah. But with this one, I'm I'm not giving the Dwayne Johnson a free pass. He produced this movie. I'm yeah. not I'm not calling him out for phoning in a performance, but I think he's phoning in creatively by choosing these movies. Buffs. All right, Dennis, we gave our thoughts on Skyscraper. We laughed our way through the movie. We laughed our way through the review kind of here. So um, new scoring system, you know, let's just cut and dry. Give your th final thoughts. I wish I could recommend this movie. Because it had a lot of potential, it had a good premise, and it had a great team behind it. But tonally they made mistakes, story-wise, God did they make mistakes. There are so many better action movies, just amongst the action, out right now. Mm -hmm. Like, go see Incredibles 2. Yeah. So, go see something else. Go see any other action movie, frankly, that's come out this summer. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously I think I know what my score is for Skyscraper. Skip it. Yeah, well, I um, agree with you for the most part. For me, I think I had a little bit more fun with this movie than you did, but you're right. Like, fans of The Rock will probably like this movie. There are like There is a fan base out there for these types of movies. I think, like, 45-year-old to 50-year-old, like, guys that liked Commando might like this movie because they like cliches and they like that type of thing. Personally, yeah, this movie had potential didn't fulfill it whatsoever, I'm also going to have to go with Skip It. Alright, so that's it for our review of Skyscraper. We want to know what you guys think. Are we being too harsh on it? Should we give The Rock a break? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Yes, and next week we'll be bringing you our review of Sorry to Bother You, which I'm pretty excited about this. I've heard great things. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to take a break from the action movies. Yeah, we've had we've, a lot lately. We've had plenty, yeah. So we'll bring you that review next week. But wherever you are, whoever you're with, watch more movies.